New tonight, the Biden administration is offering nearly half a million Venezuelan migrants the ability to live and work in the U.S. legally. Here in Colorado, the city of Denver has sheltered and supported more than 18,000 migrants from the southern border. That has cost the city more than $24 million. Denver is getting some financial help, $3.5 million reimbursed from the state and more than $9.5 million from the federal government. Well, Governor Polis is applauding the action on temporary protected status for Venezuelan migrants. I spoke with the governor just a little while ago about what this means for our state. What's been frustrating for states like Colorado is it is the federal government's responsibility to secure the border, to uh, deal with asylum cases. We're left at the other end where people are arriving. Often their asylum cases take one or two years to adjudicate, which means temporarily it's kind of up to us to pay for housing them. And that's not fair. They want to work and support themselves. What TPS does is it lets people legally work while they're waiting for their paperwork to be processed and come through. So rather than cost people money in the state of Colorado, they're contributing. They're filling jobs that are open today. We have two job openings for every unemployed Coloradan. It'll boost our economy and people will be able to pay their own way. Governor Polis is clear that something more permanent needs to be done to handle the migrant crisis in our country. Until the federal government gets serious about border security, we're going to continue to face this issue. This helps. There's no question. It helps Colorado taxpayers. It helps the families. It helps our economy. But it's not the comprehensive solution that we need to protect our border and have an orderly way to do this going forward. The TPS program only applies to Venezuelans who arrived before July 31st. Now, in response to the governor's statements, Senate Minority Leader Paul Undine told us, quote, Polis is pandering to try to raise his national status, praising Mayorkas and Biden as pure politics. Polis is trying to find a shiny object to distract from failed Democrat immigration policy and lawless, lawlessness at the southern border. We also spoke with House Minority Leader State Representative Mike Lynch. We have enough issues in Colorado that need addressing before we worry about taking on national concerns with the border, which is causing plenty of issues in our state. And I, I really wish we would just focus on uh, taking care of Colorado before we start worrying about uh, elevating the conversation to national issues. We've got enough to deal with right here in Colorado. And we will continue to follow these new protections and how they'll affect your life here in Colorado. You can look for updates on air and on our website, cbscolorado.com.